Hello Divine Feminine and welcome to your power message for Friday, fabulous Friday, sending you so much love and it's very early again here in the UK, I mean things are changing again, we've got the builders back again next door, so after a little brief pause where they weren't here for a little while, they're back with a vengeance and I really feel that that's a big sign again about the things moving forward, especially with the full moon on Sunday, but with this energy of February and all the messages that have been coming up lately in the DM to DF readings, the masculines are really showing you they intend to commit. They want to give that to you. They want to propose. They're thinking about rings. They're thinking about all these things. And that means they are putting all of that into their vortex of creation. Just like you are when you are manifesting with your creation box or popping things on your vision board, they are doing it in their mind. So they are putting it out there to the universe and that's what's being manifest. Now what I'm picking up today is dry skin on the hands and eyes. So I'm going to be talking about this in the masculine reading because I feel it's affected by them or with them. You know, it's either what they're experiencing that you're picking up on or you're experiencing it because of what they are doing or, you know, how they are being and I'm going to be talking about that in the masculine reading today. So if you do find you're having any eye issues or your hands feel dry or they're a bit chapped or, you know, maybe they're bleeding a little bit because they're dry, then make sure you watch that video too. But I've got a message for you today from Mary Magdalene. So I'm going to do a reading with Mary Magdalene right now and then I'm going to bring in the Life Purpose Oracle cards. Because so many of you are saying to me lately, what's my mission? What's my life purpose? Now, you're already doing it. You're already doing it step by step, day by day, learning about unconditional love, learning how to respond with love instead of reacting with fear, learning how to rise above the ego every single day, learning how to handle your emotions when they come up, learning to dance in the rain, learning to enjoy the good times and the bad times, learning to ride that roller coaster and enjoy that ride. That's what your mission is. Everything you're going through right now, everything you're experiencing has given you tools and skills and making you wise for your future so that when you are in union, you can not only help the world from a place of power, but also remain in union for the rest of your lives in a permanent union. That's why things come up before union even when you feel ready and then something comes up that triggers you, so you heal it now, so that you heal it now. But your purpose and mission is also things you are passionate about, things you're excited about, things you love to do, things that turn you on, things you get up in the morning for and can't wait to do. That's your purpose and your mission. Because when you're doing that, you shine your light and that's what helps the world your natural light, that's what shines out and inspires others, helps others to change, because when you're shining that light and people are looking at you, they're thinking, what are you doing that's different than me? I want that, I want to be that way, and they're looking at you wanting your light, and you inspire them by leading by example to follow their own light and harness that and be in their truth. So the message from Mary Magdalene today is unconditional love. And this card came up when I was doing the Warriors and the Ascension Angels readings this week. Very powerful. Mary Magdalene saying, love yourself. How important it is now in 2023, but especially during February, to love yourself. And also to love others and love every situation, no matter what the outward appearances may be. So this is remembering that it doesn't matter what's going on around you, you can still love. You can still love yourself and feel at peace with where you are. You can still love other people from a place of unconditional power, where you're not trying to force or rush or control anything with conditions, because love can't be controlled. As it says in the Bible, love does not demand its own way. Why? Because it doesn't need to. Love is the answer. You know, when I created the Angel Blessings Oracle, the messages that came through in this deck blew my mind. So let's do a little message from this deck right now. What do we need to know? So the message coming through is love and treat others 
the way that you wish to be loved and treated by others. And this is really the message we're receiving right now. And this is powerful because I feel that's a message from Jesus. And we've got Mary Magdalene. And, you know, many people believe that Jesus and Mary Magdalene were twin flames. You have your own beliefs about that. I believe they loved each other very much in this lifetime. And they are here to guide and lead and show the way. So Mary Magdalene is a great, you know, ascended master. A lot like an angel really watching over us. You know, helping us to forgive and heal and to operate in beauty and power. Mary Magdalene also works very closely with Archangel Jophiel because Archangel Jophiel is the beauty angel and helps us to see beauty in all things and light and love in all things. So Mary Magdalene is saying, love yourself today. You are beautiful. Love others because there's something beautiful in them. Even if they're hurting or triggering you, it's teaching you something beautiful. And love the situation no matter what it is. Very powerful, you know, what I was doing over the weekend as well, I was watching lots of Abraham videos and, you know, I shared one on the channel the other day and I was watching that when I was eating my lunch and he was just so powerful about how the power of momentum and how things flow and how things grow and no matter what's going on around you, if something happens that's not to your liking or something happens that's different than you expected or something happens that brings up fear or a trigger, it's an opportunity to begin again and say, okay, we're going to go this way then. I'm going to enjoy whatever the universe is giving to me. It's also an opportunity to grow. So understand that everything you go through in your life is an opportunity for you to grow. No matter what the outward appearances may be, there is always a blessing there. So love and treat others the way that you wish to be loved and treated by others. They're giving me fear be kind. It doesn't mean you're a walkover or a pushover or you're vulnerable if people are being nasty to you and you're not reacting. It means you're being the bigger person. That's a reflection of them and what they are experiencing and going through and not you. You know, Wayne Dyer said, if you squeeze a lemon, lemon juice comes out. Why? Because it's a lemon. It's what's inside of it. If you squeeze an orange, orange juice is going to come out. You're not going to get lemon juice or apple juice from and you know anything else because from that because that's what it is so in other words when you get squeezed and you get squeezed when you go through challenging situations or a trigger comes up or something happens that pushes you a little bit you get squeezed and what comes out of you in that moment is what's inside of you so if you're feeling angry and bitter and like you want to lash out and cause pain that's because of what you've got going on inside. Whereas if you feel nothing but compassion and unconditional love and, you know, you want to help in some way, that's what's inside of you. So we can always really evaluate where we are, you know, in our thinking and in our journey, how far we are ahead by what we experience within. Because everything is within us for a reason. So if you find that you're reacting, you know, and you're getting annoyed and triggered and stressed out, then stop for a moment before you make any rash decisions or you say something you regret. Take a moment to pause and breathe and come back into the now. Because all the times we get triggered when we get squeezed, it's because of the ego. And we'll always have that ego there. It's part of our human self. But because we are spiritual beings, we're able to overcome that ego every day. And they give me a block in the throat there. And it feels like an irritation. So the ego brings up minor irritations. The ego blows things out of proportion. So that we start going into fear. False experiences appearing to be real. We start worrying about the future what ifs. Or the past if onlys. In the now we are safe. We are safe. So affirm a lot. I am safe. You know, it's one of my favourite affirmations. Whenever I go through anything in my life, the first thing I do is affirm that I am safe. And I may not believe it the first two, three, four times, but after I've said it 15 times, I do, because it starts calming me down and bringing me back into the now. So when we do that, we feel more at peace. We feel more aligned with who we are and where we are. So it doesn't matter what's going on around you. When you get squeezed, make sure that love comes out. 
And if anything else is occurring or coming up for healing, it's because it's coming up for healing. So you can heal it now. So don't judge yourself for feeling that way, for getting angry. It's okay. It's okay. These are human emotions. And we are a human being in this lifetime. But the spiritual part of us, the higher part of us, the part connected with source, understands that love is the key. And love is the answer. And the more we force things, the worse things get. The more stressed we get. The more we try and control things, the more out of control we feel. So we have to let go and breathe. That's why going in nature is so powerful because we see it from a different point of view. We realise how at ease everything in nature is. How the flowers bloom, they don't force it. How the trees sway, they don't force it. The leaves fall off and grow again, they don't force it. The birds fly around knowing they're going to sleep somewhere and eat and they're going to be taken care of. So it's about understanding that God really is your source. And I feel Jesus is coming through here to say, love one another as I have loved you. Love and treat others the way that you wish to be loved and treated by others. And if you're doing that, you know, if you're being kind to people and loving to people and they being nasty to you, that says things about them and not you. So don't get triggered by other people's behaviour. Okay, just focus on your own behaviour. That's what you can control. You can control how you feel about it, what you think about it, and what you do. That's your power. And then when you do that, the universe takes care of the rest. The universe will take care of the situation, or the person, or the event. And all you have to do is focus on you. So I'm going to bring in the Life Purpose Oracle now. You know, we're going to see what comes up, because I may read these intuitively, even though there may be a different message on here. So thank you, angels. Connecting with purpose and mission, what do we need to know? But the angels are coming through, especially right now, Jesus and Mary Magdalene, saying the mission that you have is to focus on unconditional love in all that you do, to love yourself and others in the situation, regardless of the outside circumstances, and always to respond with love and to treat people with love and kindness, no matter what's going on. That's your mission. And when you do that, everything else falls into place. You know, when people say to me, how did I get into working with the angels? Or how did I know this was what I was meant to be doing? I didn't. It just crept up on me and, and happened. Because that's what happens. These things just come and you're like, wow. You know, if you'd have told me two years ago I'd be doing a wig channel and, you know, passionate about wigs and wearing wigs, I would never have believed that. But this that's also part of my mission right now things I'm passionate about doing, you know, and this is what you're doing, what you're doing right now, you may expand on what you're doing in a different way in the future, or you may be doing something different than what you're doing now in the future, you know, just allow your life to unfold in a very unconditional way, which means you let go of control issues, you let go of the conditions, and you let the angels, the universe, and God take care of the rest, so what do we need to know, now, this is really powerful. I've got two cards moving here as extras here. We've got crystals. Now, this is lovely because, you know, crystals, so many of us wear crystals, work with crystals, want to understand crystals. You know, there's people out there who are crystal therapists. Maybe that's you. Or crystal healers. Maybe that's you. You know, George loves crystals. You know, he's like a bit obsessive with crystals as well. And I love crystals, but I'm not as obsessive you know not probably not the right word obsessive but he loves them you know it says thing you know and for me I love them but you know I'm more kind of laid back with crystals you know my thing is more connecting directly with heaven but I am enjoying crystals right now you may have noticed that you know over the last few months I've been wearing a cage around my neck instead of wearing different necklaces and I've got some lovely ones you guys have sent me and you've sent me some gorgeous bracelets and stuff, thank you. But I tend to wear things on the channel, you know, even my rings, you know, I don't wear George's ring. I wear rings that I feel empowered with, things that give me power. And remember, we spoke about this, it's not the item that gives you power, it's you, it's the way you feel about them. So I feel that these things give me power and help me, like, as a tool, so that's why I continue to wear them. But what I'm doing right now with the cages, you know, every month with the Ascension Angels on the channel, you know, the membership level Ascension Angels, 
we are doing a crystal. So we're all wearing the same crystal and we're experiencing what the crystal does and we're talking about the crystal and it's bringing in power. So for January, we wore pyrite and I found that pyrite was very powerful for motivating me and giving me confidence and helping me tap in with my gifts. And we've got peach moonstone for February, which is great stone for manifesting and also for feeling strong and being able to be in the present moment and seeing things as they are and really connecting with this energy of unconditional love where we love others and ourselves and the situation no matter what's going on. So crystals can help. You know, you guys know that if you have Reiki or you have some kind of, you know, healing therapy, they may use crystals. Maybe use crystals in the bath. You know, maybe you put salt in the bath. These are things that help. So crystal therapy can be very helpful because it can bring in power. And these are when these are natural crystals, they have superpower. So, you know, you may use amethyst crystal, which I'm really picking up on in this card, all this gorgeous purple energy, because it connects you with your psychic self. It opens the third eye, it brings power into the crown. You know, it helps you to tap in with your clear awareness. That's why a lot of healers and mystics and, you know, kind of, psychics and mediums wear amethyst crystal or they have it in the home you know maybe they have it in the entrance of the home the geodes or you know they have it there so it's very very powerful you know wearing or using these types of crystals and these types of energies but we can use crystal therapy to help the world it says your connection to crystals and gemstones is a channel for healing energy so you may use crystals to channel your energy you know, it's really powerful as well because cars are coming in. And it's things like to help to move forward. That's what they show me there. It caught my eye with the car there to move things forward. So we can use crystals to move things forward. Maybe have crystals in the car. You know, the vehicle you're in or in the office you're in at work or you're taking a crystal with you. But many of you will work with crystals throughout your journey and mission. And that's so powerful that's come up. And the message says your connection, you know, your connection. That means how you feel about these crystals, because some crystals you're going to gel with some you don't. You know, I struggle a lot with um, the grounding stone hematite because, you know, I, I like to be on the angelic realm connecting with the angels. And I find that when I use that stone, it grounds me a lot. And when I used pyrite last month, I didn't know how that would affect me because I thought, oh, is it the same kind of energy? But it isn't. And, you know, it's got that gold tone to it as well, which I love. Anything that's gold or sparkly or blingy, I just really resonate with. And I feel that's possibly why it gave me that power. Because remember, it's what we think about it. So if you get Peach Moonstone and you think, yes, this is going to do everything for me. It's going to manifest. It's going to help me. It will. But if you think it's being detrimental to you or hurting you in some way, then it's not going to work for you. So remember, it's all about your power and the way you see things. It's like when we use a spiritual tool. You know, if you're using tarot and you're seeing it with your third eye and you're using your intuition, you're connecting with your guides, you're going to channel the right messages. But if you're in ego and fear and you're going through stuff yourself and you were putting that on the cards and the reading, then, you know, you're going to give out negativity. So you have to really leave your ego at bay when you're working with service. And sometimes crystals can help that too to help us to raise our vibration and focus on peace. And look at this for powerful, light and love. And that's what Jesus and Mary Magdalene are saying here. Your purpose is to bring divine healing, light and love to this world. So that's why you're here. That's your mission. You might think, well, is it to do readings? Is it to heal with crystal therapy? Is it this? Is it that? And the angel's saying, whatever fills you up, Whatever gives you light, whatever you love, that's going to help the world because that's your purpose to bring that love and to bring that light and that radiance within you to other people. So use the affirmation. My purpose is to bring divine healing light and love to this world. I love helping others, doing what I love. That brings me rewards and makes me happy. That's what to focus on. Not, you know, what is our mission together? What do we need to be doing? Because, you know, we do worry about that sometimes and think about it and wonder if we're compatible. 
and you are compatible because you are one but because you're here to bring light and love to the world and that's what's going to bring in everything look at this infinite abundance that's what's going to bring in money and success and rewards and make you feel good and bring in everything you want all the support you need that focusing on love and light maybe using crystals to help you to feel better to bring power in you're fully supported as you devote yourself to your divine life purpose so when you devote yourself to helping others doing what you love or you follow your own passions and light up the room because you feel lit up inside and they're giving me fear that's your purpose so many of you may be watching this thinking i've just started my purpose and you, that may be, you might be thinking about you started a YouTube channel or you started your website or you started your healing business and it's exciting to you. That shows you're on the right path. Many of you may already be working on changes now. You know, maybe you're still in jobs you don't like, you know, they're not serving you, they know that, you know, they're not part of your purpose, but you know, you're being guided to change that. And you know what you want to do. Maybe you don't know how you're going to pay the bills or how it's going to work out. But God knows. The universe knows. Once you make the decision, the universe will create the way. And the magic will flow in. You know, that happened to me. You know, I knew two years before I left my job to go full-time on YouTube that I was supposed to be full-time on YouTube. And it didn't happen because of me. I was holding myself back. The universe was constantly showing me you'll be supported, you'll be supported. But I had to get the strength and the confidence and courage within myself to actually make that change. And it was the best thing I ever did for me. And now I think, wow, even going back in my mind, you know, to five years ago, wow, did I actually do that for so long? Why? Why didn't I make the changes? So it's about being open and aware. So it doesn't matter if you make the changes when you're in your 20s, 30s or in your 50s, 60s, 70s. What matters is you choose love and light. And we've got two little extra cards here and I feel these may be more career orientated. So we've got support. Your life purpose fully supports you. Now I feel what this is saying to you is your purpose, part of your purpose is to help the world. You know that anyway, but that's by being a support system to other people you know like I do these readings for you guys because I want to support you obviously I want to give you all the guidance I can and help you but I also want to support you as much as I can by creating places we can connect such as the comment section live streams Q and A's membership where you can have you know you've got more interaction there so that's how I try to do this but my support is also from heaven so I know when I need anything I'm connecting with up there. And this is what I feel you're doing. You're working out how you can help and support others right now. What can you do? You know, your life purpose fully supports you. So the more you help and support others, the more abundance is going to flow in. And abundance, you know, we think about the word abundance. We may think about, you know, riches. Like I always see abundance as riches, but not material riches, as nice as that is riches in all ways i'm rich in all things that's a great affirmation affirm i am rich in all things that means you were rich with happiness joy health you know feeling amazing words support and then the material things come in like the money the business the car the home all these things are manifest from what's going on inside of you so when you get the inside of you right the outside will follow and we've got, look at this, career change. So what I'm really feeling is this is so powerful because, again, the angels aren't giving you anything specific here because everyone's different. You know, you're going to, you know, love doing things that are different than the next person because we're all unique. And even if you love doing what the other person loves doing, you have your unique, you know, kind of spin on things. So you do things your way and that makes you a lighthouse. So what I'm seeing here is you are changing things in your life, your career, lifestyle, you know, relationships, so that you can be the lighthouse and shine that light out bright. So it doesn't matter what you do, because not everyone's going to do the same thing. But what matters is that you shine that light. And it's really powerful because a red bus just went past and it caught my eye. 
you know, a lot like when I see fire engines or things like that, because red is about action and passion and the energy of that coming in, especially as we move forward. You know, where are we are now? We're moving towards Pisces energy, Aries energy. There's a lot of passion coming in here. The water rabbits brought that in. So there's plenty of opportunities right now to follow your dreams and heart. And the angels are asking you today to follow your heart and that's how you shine your light. So it doesn't matter what you do as long as you shine that light as the lighthouse. So really your mission and your purpose is to be the lighthouse. You're embarking upon a career that brings you the joy and the abundance that you truly desire and deserve. You truly desire and deserve. So don't worry about the how or the when or, you know, the, the paycheck. Just set things in motion by saying, how can I help? Universe, what would you have me do? Show me, guide me, lead me. Help me to know and feel. Because it's the feelings. And you know how it feels when you're loving what you do. Everything's exciting and magical and wonderful. So focus on love and light and being kind and loving to yourself and others. And being that support, no matter what the outward appearance is. Because that is how you master your life. So let's bring the book in today then. So what do we need to know today? Wow, I mean, this is beautiful. Know that the angels are right here. And not just the angels, the ascended masters. You know, we've got 34, 3 and 4. And that's the 3 is about the ascended masters. And the 4 is about the angels. So the ascended masters I'm connecting with today, especially, is Mary Magdalene, Mother Mary bringing in that comfort, and Jesus. Whether you see Jesus as the son of God or an ascended master, it's your beliefs. Don't worry about that. You know your truth. But this is saying he's around you. And the angels, especially Archangel Jophiel, helping you to see with the eyes of love. So the thought for today is my angels are always by my side and they are. And I spoke yesterday in the feminine reading about our guardian angel and connecting with both of our guardian angels you know, some people may have more than two guardian angels, but they always show me, you know, a primary angel who's with you the whole of your life. And then your, in a way, secondary angel that comes in when you start waking up spiritually. So you have two guardian angels with you right now. So my angels are always by my side. I am continuously loved by them and they help me whenever I ask. I am supported, loved and surrounded by many angels now and always. Now and always you are supported, they are with you, all you have to do is ask. Heaven isn't some faraway place, it's a dimension that exists all around you. Isn't that beautiful? And that's why our loved ones never die, they go on. They live through us and they are all around us. That's why you feel them so powerfully. That's why you feel the love of your twin because they may not be in the same room as you physically, but they are around you energetically. Because it's about seeing through the illusion of the physical world. Therefore, at times you will feel our presence or see evidence that we're right here beside you. That's why you may get feathers coming out of nowhere. Or you get a little penny coming from heaven. Or you see a sign or a robin. Or, because they know what you need. They know what you need. You know, the, yesterday, you know, I was sitting. And I was, where I sit and eat my lunch or my breakfast. You know, it's on the table downstairs in the kitchen. And the kitchen table and I love that table anyway because it was my mum's kitchen table and I always feel nice when I'm sitting there and George doesn't really sit there he sits in other places so it's kind of like my thing and you know it's looking out onto you know there isn't I don't look onto the garden because the window for that's the other side where I'm looking out to kind of the bush and the sky and the trees and you know yesterday when I was doing that a little like you know like um this colour um, like a, a brown, um, I was going to say feather, I'm after the work because I'm channeling, I'm thinking, trying to put myself into an experience, um, a physical 3D experience, a leaf, thank you, a leaf like a really burnt brown colour, a bit like this, you know, it just floated down from nowhere and it did it in such a like calming, beautiful way, you know, it just, I thought that's a sign. That's a sign. I just knew it was. I knew that was something coming. I've been seeing lots of robins lately as well. So you know when you get these signs, you know that your loved ones are around you. You know the angels are with you and you understand that you are supported by God. We move as you do and we stand next to you always. 
Although we'd never interfere with your free will, we're poised to help at every moment. All you need to do is ask. And that's reminding you that you have free will. You have free will. And that means God created you with a choice. So you can accept heaven's help or not. You can do it this way or that way. We always have a choice because we're here to grow and learn. So the angels can't go against that because God is in charge. But if you allow the angels in, they are right there. That's why God created them. God created them to help you. That's their purpose and mission. Just like it's your purpose and mission to be the lighthouse. So the angels help you. And the, God created the angels because he understands that not everyone is going to have a great relationship with him. Not everyone's going to believe in him. But more likely people are going to believe in angels and guides because that's what we do. We look for alternatives or, you know, with me, you know, I've always had a very powerful connection with God, but I've also had this fear around connecting with him directly. I do more now, but years ago, you know, it's like I didn't feel worthy of talking to God. So I connected with the angels instead. And when people say things like, oh, don't worship the angels, never worship the angels, all glory to God. You know, all glory to God because he created everything. He created everything for us to experience and, you know, have and do. And, you know, I saw something, I can't remember what it was on. But so I think it was on a Robert Zink video or something like that. But he was saying the amazing things that that we've got in the world to appreciate. You know, and like the, the things like the colours, the paintings, the music, all these things. God created all of that because he created the people who created that. So again, this is about giving thanks to God for all things. You know, the angels are that bridge and that's powerful. You know, this is powerful. It's like when we look at celebrities, we may love their music. You know, people say that we can hear or worship or see celebrities or other people as, as you know, gods or um, idols. And that's obviously against God, this is what people say, I'm just bringing these up, this, you know, you may want not want to hear this at all, not meaning to bring religious in at all, because, you know, I just connect with my own beliefs, but the point I'm making is, it's not that, it's appreciating the music, or their hair, or whatever it is, and God created all of that, so when you're appreciating something that God has created, you're automatically giving praise to him for what he's created, What's wrong with that? And that's what the angels want you to know. So that's part of their purpose too, to be able to help you to see things in a new way. And I've just got drawn then again, a little leaf just come down. That's a sign that is that I received that message. So listen to your heart today and your truth. You know your truth, no matter what's going on. You know if that was a sign. Maybe you see something, you think, wow, I've just had a sign from heaven. And you tell someone, and they're not spiritual and they're like, oh no, it was just a coincidence or it was random or don't read too much into that. That's their perception. Maybe they haven't been through something as amazing as what you have yet anyway, because God always shows the way. You know, some people say, what about the masculines? When will they wake up? When will they understand? They'll go through life changing experiences that will bring in life changing epiphanies. And if the things don't come in to make that happen, God steps in. You know, these things happen, divine intervention. So trust where you are because magic is taking place. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.